free. For free, I just got here. It is free money going right back to the players. But in the meantime, we have a really exciting set. This is actually so hype. Well, actually, in your case, I think this is the worst possible set imaginable. We you got know. Nixie versus Louie. How do you feel about this? I don't feel anything anymore. And, you know, it, this is funny because usually we see numbers versus uh, Nick at these events. But now we're seeing... Um, the other, the other Wii Fit versus uh, Nick, and we're going to see how it goes for him. The other Wii Fit, the trainee, <laughs> the up-and-coming Louie. Um, so this is going to be a little bit interesting, right? Because I feel like Nick is going to find some way to cheat inevitably in the set. And Hugity is going for it, trying to catch like a neutral get up in place with an up smash there. But uh, really good recognition from Louie just to delay his option a little bit, mm -hmm. just to uh, then go away. Yeah, Nick, Nick has a lot of these platform setups, especially under PS2 platforms, where he likes to down air, and he waits for your tech on platform to do something ridiculous, and that up smash actually would have killed this guy. That's the mm -hmm. sad thing about that. That's a sad thing? <laughs> it's pretty bad. Oh my goodness. Um, and finds it down air, but I guess at, like, at that point, like there's really no follow-up that you can do. It's a little bit awkward spacing, can't find like a double jump up or anything. Mm -hmm. Now Nick just going to be looking for a back here right about now, but Louie yeah. ending up finding his zone and taking that first stock. Yeah, Nick um, flubbing the uh, raw back air and getting the reverse forward tilt, but you know, Louis just taking a little nice forward tilt. I feel like Wii Fit's at the ledge always look at that forward tilt and like people always get hit by it for some reason. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Nick's little like ledge mix up that he's just trying to make himself as ambiguous as possible with like a double jump neutral air dodge. Um, finds the up air, but this is going to be the challenge, right? Like, you can't really pressure we fit too much off stage as Falcon unless you find like a down smash to catch yeah. that roll. So really good spacing. Yeah, and that down smash is pretty good because the back hit is safe on shield. So even if he does whiff and they block it for some reason, he's still safe. So it's like yeah. a very low combo option. Oh my goodness. He has no jump. He Should died. I? Oh, he, he kept the jump. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I thought I thought he lost it for a second, but Louis is like pressing a lot of pattern out of this advantage, and Nick just keeps on swinging the handles. I feel like Louis has just took like a lot of damage uh, that he really like shouldn't have uh, mm -hmm. in that situation. But either way, finds a really nice down angled F tilt. Ah, uh, but no, no finishing. Yeah, and the thing is, yeah, and, and Nick Nick is a player who likes to read those jump habits and options off ledge. So, like, Louis doing that cute stuff off ledge is cool for now, but, like, one of these times, Nick is going to catch him slipping, and it's not going to look good. Yeah, now Louis just... I like how Louis just stalling and making himself, again, as ambiguous as possible. Nick committed a little bit too much, finds himself in disadvantage now, but finally going to be landing, not taking too much damage for it, so... He committed, but, you know, at least he still, like, found what he was looking for. Yeah, and not doing the standard get up off ledge, which everybody gets hit by. Don't do that. And, um, yeah, Nick doing the up B. It was a little ambiguous, too, because if Falcon's, uh, Falcon died, would be crazy, but... <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yeah, and, and yeah, and that's, that, and that's that platform stuff I was talking about. Like, just lining on the PS2 platform. And he got, off the interaction, he got 60% off the PS2 platform to push him to the side. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's not fun. This is not fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'd, I'd actually disagree. I feel like it's not fun getting hit by this, but it is It is quite fun to watch. Also, as soon as he hit that up tilt, you leaned in. You were so ready to just like make like a big accusation against Nick. You were so ready just to talk uh, some smack. It's it, it, Honestly, at this point, it's just like a, it's, it's a reaction. It's a bodily reaction I can't control. Right when somebody gets hit with that on the platform, Nick has a bunch of like weird mix up, mix up of up of up tilt on the platforms, and it's like, mm -hmm. it, it, it's like so. At, see, he could have up smash there too. Like he'll go for an up smash, and that's situation. where Bugs leaned in. That is the specific <laughs> exact moment where I saw him just like move five more inches in his seat. Oh my god! But yeah, good stuff on Nick. And you know what's crazy? It seems like Louis did this in the beginning of the game. Had a good, had a good, pretty good for the whole. Took the first yeah. stock, and then Nick kind of just steamrolled the rest of his way up. Did you mean that when you said good stuff to Nick? Did you really mean that? I, I, I feel like context could tell you that I, the answer to that question, but... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, geez, so go to Yoshi's story. Uh, Nick is already putting on so much damage so quickly, just like from one side. But he is so explosive, so scary, but... Uh, never, like, we fit deep breathing damage output is always just so, so much. Yeah, I mean, low-key, I feel like Wii Fit has, like, probably the second best limit mechanic in this game. Oh, uh, that's just my opinion. But, uh, yeah, man, it puts in a lot of damage, and also it gives her a better option at the ledge when it comes to kills. Both of just whiffing a whole bunch, trying to find that big initial hit, and what an amazing call-out. Like, that's, like, one of the biggest things. Like, when people try to keep themselves safe with projectiles at the edge of the stage, but then they get into a habit of doing it, they get a little bit too predictable, it starts to become an opening, and, and Nick just took advantage of that. Yeah, and that's exactly what you're talking about in Game 1, too, the header off ledge, and Louis kind of just throwing it out there. And it's one of those things that, like I said, Nick catches on to those ledge options, and he hunts for those down airs off stage.
Yep, he found his positioning, he knows how to not get hit by it, and now he also knows how he can get a huge hit off of it. I like the delayed showing hop before he picked his option. Um, he had a great idea with like the neutral, but Louis was a little bit too high up. Yeah, and yeah, and right now it's just like Louis trying to trade and come down with a button, and like you know, Wee Fit's Nair ha doesn't have the best hitbox, so tra trying to beat out Falcon up air with a Nair is gonna you're gonna lose that every single time. Oh, Nick is going all the way out there, and Louis could have made like a good reversal if he just like sat there in the back here, he would have been able to get it. But either way, Wee Fit F tilt, yeah, the yeah. classic. Yeah, yeah, Wee Fit F tilt. Everybody gets away from me. It's like a you look at the frame video for the Wee Fit. And so he threw out that up smash, and it's like, <gasps> Falcons just throw that out because it's safe, even on block, and I don't understand. Louis didn't have an air dodge, I'm surprised that Nick like, didn't push in a little bit more, because I feel like if he just ran out there with one button. But also, you don't really want to commit off stage against Weefit. She is cheating and calling it after all, and can just spike you whenever she so pleases. But Nick, just double jumping back on with another spike, and Louis was just not ready for it. I really want to yeah. see what option uh, Louis picked. Yeah, that moment. And, and that stuff. Like, and I'm pretty sure Louis Jesus picked the stage because of the wall on Yoshi's, right? And and there you go. That's why you picked the stage. But man, that was pretty brutal tech to miss, right? No double jump off stage. Well, I guess I guess now no double jump. But I like I like Louis's mix once again. Just I feel like the struggle has been getting off ledge, but he's been getting back onto the stage really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that's really a problem, getting off ledge. Because you know what? Nick has a lot of experience playing John. So he knows the distance that where he could threaten Weep it. And like right there, he reacted to that roll with the up B. Frame 10 out of shield. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was the DI on that back? <laughs> my, yo, my, my, guy, my guy took a plane ticket. His, yeah. his itinerary was to the blast zone. Like, can we talk about that DI? He's gone. It was the same thing for the back through. So there's a couple of situations that I really want to make like note of. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, he that, de that was definitely the runaway DI. That that was that was definitely the Looney Tunes runaway DI. The guy like. <laughs> Where you going, bud? Away. He's going away, man. He's um, not blessed, man. Going back to Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, man, it's ish. yeah, and like I said, I, I feel like Nick in that matchup specifically, right? Like. He has a lot of experience in that matchup, like, and if I'm not mistaken, um, before he like went on his hiatus, like when he was playing regularly, he had a pretty good set um, advantage on numbers, if I'm not mistaken, like, you know, so. I wouldn't be able to tell you, but uh, I would say <laughs> sure, so yeah, I'll, sure. Take, I'll take yeah. your word for it, but yeah, coming not? up.